everybody, welcome to Fat TV. Delany here with. Well, what was that? I don't know. I'm dancing. <laughs> I don't dance. <laughs> with KT. This is KT. And Michael Sun Lee. Yes. <laughs> what? Did... I don't know. We do it every week. I know. Yeah. I know, but it makes me laugh every time I see. Oh, okay, cool. I'm sorry. All I right. have to make fun of her. That's what I do. Well, today we are excited to share with you our season finale star, mm -hmm. Michael Sun Lee. And before we move to that, <laughs> if you have not watched episode six, which is the last episode, yes. stop what you're doing right now. Just press pause. Go watch episode six, mm -hmm. then come back. Yes. But make sure to come back. Make sure to come back. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Because you're going to want to be here. You're going to know what this guy did in, yeah. in, the, in the show. Like, this may not make sense, too. So. Right. Yeah. Exactly. we yes. got to talk about it. Yeah. I so, didn't see him. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about yourself. Born and raised on an island in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, the island of Oahu. And since graduating college, I've been here in Los Angeles pursuing our dreams. Oh, our dreams? Our dreams. Oh, that's so nice of you. How's that been working out? <laughs> As of late, it's been working out great. In the great. beginning, not so great. Oh, okay. But it's great. Ever since I've got to be on She's Too Fat. I thought he was going to say Fuller House yeah. or Moana. Things are looking or... up. Things are looking up. <laughs> like, but they are. They really are. She's Too Fat. We'll take it. We'll take we'll it. We'll take it. We'll, yeah. take, we'll thank you. So wait, how long have you lived in Los Angeles? Gosh, 20 years. What? Like, so here. you moved here when you were two? What? 20, right after college, I moved up here. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's... And where did you go to college? Yeah. The University of Hawaii. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I actually wanted to go there. Really? I did. It's a great school. Because yeah. it was in Hawaii. I was like, I want to get anywhere out of the country. But my Wait, parents wouldn't it, let me go. It's in the country. Well, I mean, like, me. you know. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> like, Hawaii really, to me yes. is its own, like, country. Like, it's, it's, it's totally country, different. It's well, country. having said that, though, she's Florida. So I yeah. get that. Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, and that was, like, Florida. the farthest away that was still America. Besides yeah. Alaska, which yeah. was too cold. And she's used to the humidity already, so. Right. Exactly. Have you been to Perfect. Florida, Michael? Have no, yeah. I have not. Mm. I have yet to go to. Yeah, no. It's humid. Yeah, that's what Like, one New Year's, it was 99 degrees in Miami. Oh my god. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I went in February to Florida and I was like, why is it hot? But I was expecting like Chicago weather. I don't know. It yeah. is in like Jacksonville, like it'll get down to 60s. It, I remember one time growing up, it actually snowed. Like mm -hmm. nobody knew what they shut down all of That's Jacksonville. Cool. You know, it wasn't even that much to snow. That's right, the thing. Right. It was like maybe that much right. and everything shut down. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like here when it rains, nobody knows how to drive. Exactly. <laughs> it's because like once in a lifetime. When it trickles down. But I remember, yeah. the one thing I do remember is that the Main Street Bridge downtown, people were sledding on it. And that was, I was like, in Jacksonville? There's actually pictures of that. But oh, that's cool. That was like late 80s, I think. What did they use as sleds? Garbage can. Probably. You know, we are redneck white trash out there. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, we are so excited to have you on here. I'm kind of sad too, though, because I know we're going to be talking about the season finale. Like, mm -hmm. but the good news is we are going to have a season two. So, mm -hmm. like, he's like, yay! Post show blues lead yeah. to pre show excitement. That's right. We don't care how it's going to happen, but it's going to happen. Oh, it's, it's gonna definitely going to happen. Gonna happen. Yeah. Yeah. But we already promised our DP, David Navarro, right. it's going to happen in a much higher quality way. Correct. <laughs> We can't repeat what we did last time. You came at the tail end of that, but that was we we filmed the whole season in two days. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah, the same, the same, that? on the same block, right? Yeah, the same, the same hood, the same everything, the same all of that in two days. Yeah, wow. it was. Never and to me, episode six was had the most going on besides yes. episode two that had a lot of characters, but this yeah, had yeah. a lot of characters fighting. Yes, and like a lot of camera movements had to happen I and know. stuff like that, and. Of course, was uh, everybody was it was the last city, the last one we shot, right? It was. It was yeah. the last. Yeah. yeah. I feel and bad. He had to, and, and our DP had to get somewhere. He did. Yes, he had yes. a music had to go video. Fly away somewhere. <laughs> to Tennessee. Some and we're like, holy shit! Shoot. And he lost one his shot. extra person too, so he was doing a lot of stuff on his he own. He did it on his own yeah. on a hot, hot day, man. Mm -hmm. I told this is why I owe him that bottle of Makers. Yeah. So. yeah. Speaking of Makers, okay, you, Mister. Okay, I have barely talked to you since we've. Like work together, so even That's on the right. even on the day we're working together, we're so professional. We're just like working, and then I was like, "Oh my god, I'm so excited about the cast and crew party because I'm gonna finally get to talk to you." I barely even said hi to you. It was your birthday. Well, I also well. heard a rumor that 
what you were a bartending for everybody. What is a this little all bit, about? A little bit. What? Yeah. What? Everybody's going. Yeah, that guy's so cool. He's like they kept saying Michael, and I kept thinking Michael Gittimer. He's mm-hmm. the guy. Oh from right, right, the yogurt, right. The yes, yogurt. yes, yes. He, he's been making drinks, and I was like, that just doesn't sound like him. <laughs> and then it was you, right? Which it makes a little more sense, but still, right. I was like, wait, what? What? What brought? What took you back there to the? <laughs> there was nobody <laughs> manning the bar. You know. <laughs> You're like, a man's got to just jump in there. And Matthew like, say, was just reaching over and grabbing vodka bottles. And <laughs> I was like, ah, no, 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 no. I know we should have hired a bartender, I guess, for that night. But all of us have been bartenders. I know. Yeah, and so none of us really I think, said, like, some of us did, like, out yeah. and on. But then you had birthday cake going on. Yeah, and a lot of so much. Going on. Right. There was a lot of people there. I was yeah. like, right. I was like, whoa, there's a lot of people here. Yeah, I was expecting, like, 12 people. And yeah. we had, like, I know. It was a good turnout. It was a great turnout, which shows how many people were excited to see the show and how much did you love the reception towards the episode you were in people i had no idea if people would be receptive as they were yeah, right on, on that night yeah that night right like you thought i yeah. i honestly thought it was going to be more like everybody's going to do that polite golf clap or whatever right. but people by the by the, your episode everyone was cheering and like loved your your character singing the theme song yeah <laughs> they knew it by heart <laughs> Because they had heard it six, six times. times. Or eight. I know poor Eden. Like <laughs> she was, everybody was like, yeah, going up to her and going, yeah. So you think you're an actress? You know what? Six times though, compared to us in post, we oh. we heard it like six hundred. Yeah. It's a times. great song. It's fantastic. It's, it's a great it's song. Fantastic. Really. Yeah. 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 I just, I, it's a great sing along song. How much was that song? How much did we pay her? Just as much as we paid you, actually. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Actually. Not even that. She actually offered it to us. So, That's yeah. Awesome. But I am hoping there's this little thing called sweat equity, and my word is my bond. I want everybody to get paid what their value was. So, we're working on that too for the I future. get paid in alcohol, so it's. Oh, oh like tomorrow. There like our other. Tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> like, Why does everybody always want to get paid in alcohol? I mean, I'll do it. That's fine. I can do that. So, um, but yeah, okay, your character. Your character is my favorite character ever. Right. Besides my character. No, just kidding. Your character is amazing. Who Officer wrote Gosling, that? who wrote it? Who wrote it? I will guys? tell you. I, I was trying to understand it when she was telling me. She didn't understand this. I was these, like, this. what the hell are you talking about? Yeah. Like, what? And then it finally, didn't make sense. It didn't make sense. Yeah. It didn't make, I was like, what are you talking about? Yeah, let's go talking? back to that. Because yeah. I had to talk, like, this, this episode was so exciting to me because we we're going to do Spoiler alert, you need to watch the show before you hear us, but superhero, it's gonna be like... That was great, that was fantastic. Yeah, and then we're also gonna have like, you know, love interest or whatever, and I was so excited, and she's like, what is this, Delany? Yeah. Who is Officer Gosling? And I was like, he has to take on the Ryan Gosling meme. He just has to, like, and she's like, what are you talking about? And I sent her the meme, and she goes, nobody's going to get this. And I'm like. Because I do. I'm like, what are we trying to do here? But I put it out in casting, Uh and as we all know, over 800 blah 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 actors submitted for Mm -hmm. the season. Yep. Over 800 and something. I'm not kidding you. It's just. 20 bucks goes a long way. (laughs) So, but, um. So that, I saw a lot of different versions, but yours is the only one that you, I was like, that's Officer Gosling. He that's got it. Great. You, that's you, awesome. were, there is nothing we wanted to change about what you're just Like, I was like, he just has to do that on set. So, and Matt, Matt agreed. Matt, Matt's on the other side as usual, right? And how much, oh wait, we're not interviewing you. I was about to ask you. Didn't you love it, Matt, Matt? I love it. Yeah. But what did you think when you saw the submission? Like, why did you submit? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. All those questions. When I saw the <laughs> breakdown or the casting notice, mm-hmm. I was like, this is not me, but I would like to play this. <laughs> so I'm going to audition so I get to play it at least in my friend's apartment for that one day. And then you called and I was like, wow, go figure. I get to play it again. I kind of, you were kind of hard to get in touch with. Because what I wanted, okay. Oh, I was? Well, yeah. no, I was just, I, when you really want, with, with casting, when you really want an actor so badly, you can't wait for that actor's access, like, thing where oh, I right, know you. Right, 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 I actually right, right. kind of stalked you on Facebook. And Ooh, I sent oh. you a message through Facebook. I think it was your like page or something. And I was like, hey, my God, who's done? I'm the creator, blah, blah, blah. Do you remember that? Yes, I do. <laughs> now I remember that. Was that last year? Yes. Yeah. It, was a, it was over a year wow. ago. It was a year and a half ago. That's and amazing. I was like, I already messaged you, but hey, I just want to get in touch with you here too, just in case, because I really wanted you to say yes. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I was willing to take out a second mortgage on a non-existent <laughs> house to get on, you. On her car. I was like, he has to end this 
episode and season and just that. Yeah, and I'm so glad you said yes. And I'm so glad we shot on a weekend. That, oh. was, that was perfect. Was that perfect? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was perfect. That was a Sunday. We shot that one on a it Sunday. It was a Sunday, so I was like, perfect. It was a Sunday. Okay, so that worked out. Oh, I'm glad that worked out for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But what, okay, so you knew when you looked at the submission, because we're asking all of our actors, and I love that you're like, oh, that's not me, but I want to play that, right? Right. So what, was there anything else about the breakdown? Were you kind of like, this is interesting, or this is weird? Like, what did, it was just quirky or for you? What? I, I can channel that, because I used to be that type of person okay before in a in a in a in a previous life what is the type of person what do you mean like you know i was the nightclub guy i used to go to nightclubs like four times a week oh yeah okay. up Holy so i'd be like Christ. hey what's up how you guys doing <laughs> yeah so oh I'm like my i can gosh. channel that into officer gosling yes but you did it in a non-cd way right True. right right not, right like because yeah. right. people love that line when he said um mm. It was his delivery, but he's like, I can tell, and he did the body check, and he's like, you're intelligent. You know, it's the stuff that women really want to hear, right. you know what I mean? Yes. Yeah, but yeah. you did it in such a non-creepy way. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> well, because that, was, that was one of the things that I had. I said it can't be creepy, and right. it can't be, like, dorky, you know what I mean? Yeah. 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 It, it can't be, like... Tongue in cheek, it needs to be kind of cool. There, right, was, a, there was a balance there. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah. A yeah. matter of factness there. And we okay. had to get it in a in really fast. We didn't have a lot of takes of that because I remember in the editing. Oh yeah. That we didn't have a lot of takes of that. I mean, I can't. Matt, Matt was direct. You were directing that mainly, right? He was yeah. Yeah. So I didn't know if you. Sorry, we're talking him off camera. But like, did you tell Michael? Like, did you direct him a lot on that, or did you just it say do it? Do the audition. So yeah, Matt Matt said he just do what you did at the audition, and then right. I mean, and Michael and I had not spoken still really, right? I right. gave you your glass. Because you had like eight your... eight changes that day, I think. <laughs> I remember when I pulled up to your street, I'm like, who's that? Oh, it's her. Oh, oh we yeah, were shooting on the dolly. Guy. On the dolly. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 I'm like, yeah. I guess this is it. This is it. <laughs> I can't believe what we got away with. We got away with shooting the dolly on the street, mm -hmm. shooting the car on the street, shooting the car driving around on the street. Right, mm -hmm. yeah. But, well, I, it was weird, though, because I wanted to at least say hi to him before we acted uh -huh. together, and then, like, he just came around that tree as Officer Gosling, right. and that's, like, the first we kind of said hi to each other. Right. And I was like, all right, so we're doing this. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but sometimes that does happen. But I think you just, it, like, go in, and you have to go in, do your yeah. stuff, and you got no time. Yeah. That's part, to me, that's part of acting, is, it's like, totally. you just got to be on. Yeah. And I've, I've been in those situations a lot, right. where it's the martini shot, mm -hmm. you know, we got, I'm known for that, like. Just getting getting it done. Just coming in mm -hmm. and just doing yeah. it. Yeah. And then, yeah. So I've been in those situations got it. a lot. And you yeah. heard that our DP had to get on the plane. And you're like, I, I still got this, guys. No problem. Right. Yeah. yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. It was, then, it was a no pressure situation, actually. Yeah. And then Michael also brought his uniform. See, we're giving you guys all the secrets. All right. So he <laughs> even brought his own wardrobe to the set. Because mm -hmm. in situations like these, when we're very limited with our budget... That was also a bonus. But right. I don't even know if that was a police officer. You know, or, it was, actually. Or was it security? Or was it... It was a police officer. Oh, it was. Uniform. Okay, okay, okay. Got it at It's a Wrap for $10. Oh, wow. Go after Halloween. Okay. Because that's when all the specials happen. Okay. Sounds good. All there right. Good to know for next season. No, it is good to know. If you ever need anything. Yeah, right after like, Halloween. You yeah. know, people, there's doctors, policemen are always, you always got to have a part, so better get some um, right. uniforms. Do you have a prison uniform? A I don't, but now I will. Right Maybe we should start yeah. having uniforms each week. We could. I'm going after Halloween. I can't <laughs> the bob. That's amazing. Yeah. And then I remember you had a really nice friend who gave us comic books. Do you remember that? Yes, because he lives nearby. Because I taped that audition at mm -hmm. his apartment, and he lives right on Victory and... Alameda are very yeah, nearby. Right. So I'm like, dude, right you need to come down because mm -hmm. the thing we taped at your house is shooting today. And so he came by. And, with presents. Yeah, with comics. He was saying, I like when friends like come comics. on set with presents. And it was like a comic book type episode, it right? It was. Yes. It's very, very so, so what weird. did you like about Did you like the comic book? Effects? I love that. I hadn't. I didn't know that was going to be Oh, yeah, you didn't know we were going to go that extra yeah, mile. Yeah, that, that really added to the episode, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's why we took so long. <laughs> you know, we, oh, God. Yeah, we took... So long, and we apologize for that. But it's because we wanted to do those things. It like was the worth lasers it. And the, yeah, yeah, it was, yeah. It, was, it was worth it. It came out great. Yeah. It I'm exceeded so my expectations, even though I had none. Oh, nice. Well, I remember when it finally came out of sound, or uh, what Slow did, our sound guy, mm -hmm. like, because just the tiny, tiniest details. 
I was bawling. I was the victory song, and I was crying, and I was like, "This is such a like a full victory for everybody." Like, I think it, I think it's gonna go very well with our audience. Yeah. Well, and that was the one that we. It was very hard for us to pick music. Yes. Like, cause there's Rampage. Want to oh, give a shout right. out to my yes. guys on Intonation. Right. Yeah. Who did that? Mm -hmm. Um. That just how I can, every time I heard that song, mm -hmm. I'm because I I co-run a label. I was like, this is really great for an action scene. Right. And so I was like, every time I saw the action scene, I was like, Rampage, Rampage. So I put that in. But then we couldn't find one, and she scoured, remember, yeah. to find the victory song. Yeah. I, I tend we, to, we, do, we work so much together, KT, Matt, Matt, and I, but sometimes I just have to hyper-focus in, and then right. I, I go silent for a little while, but then I come up with, like, that. Mm -hmm. which, yeah, it. And we found it, it and it worked. Great. Yeah, it was So great. did you, if, growing up, uh, you know, have you ever been bullied? Have you ever been, like, did you relate to being too anything. Yeah, you... when I was in uh, elementary school, there were these high school kids that would come to the school to play basketball. Mm -hmm. And yeah, they would tease me all the time. Like every day they would tease me. Hey, what's up, goon? They used to call me goon. And I'd be like, hey, what's up? I was like, oh, is that derogatory? But growing up in Hawaii, um, you grew up with a lot of racial humor, you know, ribbing each other. That's how we show affection. By, oh, te okay. by teasing each other, okay. it's one of those kind of places. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good to know. Yeah. But you have to have you have to be from there, right? You have to. It's not. Yeah, like, it helps. It's not like it anybody helps like us could be like, oh, hey, what's up? Like we yeah. can't do that, obviously. You right? could probably. Okay. You could probably <laughs> I don't want to. Do it. I was just asking. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure that stupid tourists come and do stupid. Sometimes. Stuff. Yeah. Sometimes. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Wait, what were you saying? What I said I said stupid tourists. Come oh yeah. Yes. Yeah, like in Florida, you know. You yeah, know, it's like. My, I, will, I will tell you, like, growing up, me and my sister were, like, really tan and blonde. Yeah. And everybody thought that was a Florida girl, you know, at the time. Because right. it was, like, late 80s. Right. And so we used to take pictures all the time because we went to the Keys. And so that's Miami and the Keys, where a lot of tourists are. Mm. Or if we went to Disney, we would get our pictures taken with people. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> because we were so blonde. We were very blonde, Super very like, tan, like, like with little, little, like, halter tops and little shorts, like, mm -hmm. running around, like, little Florida white This is me kids. and a Floridian. <laughs> yeah. And they, and they would make pictures with us. Wow. More than the alligators. Right. Yes. More than the alligators. Well, that's what can funny. we, we don't have alligators in Hawaii. What do you have that's dangerous out there besides volcanoes? Sharks. Sharks. We have, uh... Big rats. We have flying cockroaches. We have oh, mongoose. No, no, no flying cockroaches. Yeah. What? And so <laughs> to get rid of the rat infestation or the rats that were plaguing the plantations during the pineapple sugarcane, you know, era, they brought in mongoose. Not mm. knowing that rats are nocturnal, but mongoose aren't. So it was kind of a miss there. Right. So, yeah. Yeah. Somebody, oh, no. somebody had their doctorate taken yeah. away for that one. Oh my gosh. So you don't grow up in Hawaii without uh, having roaches and lizards in your house. Oh, yeah. But if you have lizards, uh, also known as geckos, in your house, it's it's good luck. Oh. Actually. I can yeah. handle lizards, not cockroaches. Yeah, my mother's terrified of cockroaches. Oh, that's Especially important. when they fly. Oh, no, that would be yeah. so freaky. Yeah. yeah. You know the nastiest thing? I always said if we ever had nuclear holocaust, cockroaches and Cher would live. That's about it. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. So, okay, in addition to Officer Gosling, right. what has been your favorite character that you played? What show? What, what, what do you love? What, what's going on? I like playing police officers. <laughs> I was supposed to become a police officer in a previous life. Really? A lot of people from my high school became police officers firefighters, and athletes. That's I grew up uh, in Kapahulu, which is adjacent to Waikiki, and mm. I went to an all-boys private high school, mm. Catholic high school. So it was Ooh, a big Catholic. sports. Whoa. It was a big sports high school. Wait, this needs to become yeah. an hour show right now. <laughs> I know. <laughs> we need to discuss some things. Like, really? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, no, so when you said you were supposed to be, do you mean that you wanted to be or you were told you were supposed to be a police officer? Like, I, I entertained the notion of becoming a police officer, but it was so easy to do. That I just, I didn't want to do it. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, so I just when did it on TV. Wait, right? And you do so well. Yeah, so yeah. when did it click for you that you wanted to be an actor? Gosh, since I was a little kid, like four or five years old, but I never had the impetus or encouragement um, to do so until college when I majored in drama 
and communications. And communications took over because in drama, you had to take all these other classes like tech right. and costume design, and I just wanted to perform. So yeah, theater that. became the minor and communications became the major. Mm -hmm. And I had no intention of graduating college. Um, I had just been going so long that I figured I'll just graduate. Yeah. And that's, that's, that's why I have a degree. Nice. Nice. Congratulations in on communications. Your... In yeah. communications. Well, let me tell you, I think any actor should take communication classes because you can always tell when an actor <laughs> has, is not media trained. Right. You right, know what right. I mean? <laughs> right. But I think it helps them, because I, I met a lot of actors in theater, you know, like serious theater. Yeah. And they can't really talk when they're being interviewed. Yeah, they it's kind like, of shut down. Yeah, yeah, and like they need to take some media, some communication classes. Yeah. Because I have my undergrad in mass media, which is communication. Oh, awesome. And I, and I think it's good that you go into all mediums and learn, like, how to talk, how to market, all that kind of stuff. Well, right. that makes more sense than taking those other things, like what you were saying, like tech and costume design. Because I was the same way. I just right. wanted to perform. I right. did not want to do those other things, you yeah. know? And, like, that, I found my home, and I went to conservatory where... 90 hours a week I was singing, dancing, acting. Wow. Yeah, and that's where I was like, okay, this makes sense. But yes. doing the thing where I had to take costume and all those like things. Like no interest in that. No, that and, and it's yeah. sitting down all day. What? Yeah. No, we got to be up and we got to be... Moving. I don't think I would see you sitting down all day. I'm sitting right now. I know, but it's in only 30 <laughs> minutes, but you're sitting all day. Yeah. I would love to see her sit all day. I don't think, no, I don't think no, that would it's, happen. Well, that's why my grades failed. Like, mm -hmm. it just awful grades. But when I went to conservatory, all A's. See? I was yeah. like, oh, I'd be standing up and dancing and singing and acting. So, mm -hmm. yeah. and then But on the flip side, now that we're in Los Angeles, and then, you know, for me, I've had to be on the other side of the camera because right. of my actual real-life experiences, i.e. she's too fat, mm -hmm. um... I've had to learn to write, create, produce, you know, and that, but this has been fun. I love being on the other side of the camera. Yeah. So have you had a chance to direct or write or anything? Or? I did. I just did, I did a short last year that I directed, but I haven't seen any footage yet. Okay. I have it on, on a hard drive, but I have, I have, I don't have the heart to look at it. Oh it. no, why not? Why? I don't know, because it's me and my 80, 82 year old friend. Oh, okay. Just talking crap, mm -hmm. you know. It's how we talk to each other, mm -hmm. and so a lot of people got it who know us, but the people who didn't know us, um, I don't know if they'll get it, but I guess I'll, I'll look at it. You know I kind of stand look at myself. I haven't edited what it. What you yet. need to do is just get it to an editor, yeah. and just let, because to me, it's filmmaking is collaborative. Editor. Yeah. Get okay. yourself an editor, and let them tell the story, how, give them your vision, and let them tell the story for you. Okay. Because as a director and actor, it is very hard. To sit there and cut it yourself too, and look at it. Yeah. yeah, so you have to have somebody that's very not, you know, not biased at all. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I wasn't I'll biased in the editing room. No, but but actually, okay. How we edited was we didn't. Like, she wasn't there for the first cut. She it was the first time she said, "I'm not used to not being there all the time." And I was like, "Let right. us get the rough cuts going mm -hmm. because it's a lot of work, and 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 you you you're gonna like hate everything." So let us get, get exactly. it done, you know what I mean? When you're too close, I'm like, yeah. oh, I hate that. Yeah. Is that how I look? Oh my God. But I think well, it made our we, process a little faster. In, in your oh, episode, in, in you know, your episode, we actually, it was four of us in that room and we had some heated moments because your performances were so good, but the question was like, which ones do we use? And Matt, Matt and I were coming oh. from more of a, um, and we're so good with each other, Casey, that's why <laughs> right, we love talking, because right. we're just, we think differently. Yeah. But Matt, Matt and I were coming for the more of the story arc and the more creative, but right, Nicole right, and right. KT were coming from more of a, um, editing and mm -hmm. like what is a more sharp cut and what we did and didn't get and in And get the moment. point across. Yeah. Got you know, it, without it. making it look, because the one thing I hate about stuff where you, where you really don't have any budget is yeah. when you try to keep the story intact. And it's just too much. Right. You know what I mean? And you start losing people. Right. And we had to do a fine line because we did it on a couple of them. We, I was we like got stuck on Michael. We yeah. got stuck on him. Yes. We weren't budging on our side and they weren't budging on theirs. And so you were, just know you were frozen on an image, right. like as, on a, something as big as this behind you. And we're like, no, this is the reason why we have to use this <laughs> shot. And this is the reason we were there for hours. Yeah. Hours. So, but we're very pleased with what our compromise. Yes. We, we obviously, are. obviously. Season finale took hours. Well, real yeah. quickly, because I know we're on limited time, but what is this virus? You're part of a project with all these viral little Gen Zs, right? Like, yeah, so I just on? finished a web series for Brat TV called Sunny Side Up. Nice. With okay. a bunch of teen influencers and YouTube stars mm -hmm. and everything's uh, sort of top secret. I can say I'm on it. I just can't give away what I play or 
storyline okay. and, until they mm-hmm. until they launch it. But Got it. TV gets, gosh, for each of their shows, they get millions and millions of wow. followers. Okay. And some Weird. of the actors that I've worked with, I've been here longer than they've been alive. Yeah. Oh, they, wow. They're way more popular than me. Yeah. Oh, I feel, oh, you know what, okay. though, Michael? I'm telling you, this is a di- that Generation Z, specifically, yes. Yes. they are about realism and even the way that they do filmmaking. Because I, again, we just talked about this last week with David Navarro, but I'm a big fan of TikTok. Okay, and oh. you can there's trash on TikTok, but then there's actual real good stuff on TikTok. Right, right. And all of those Gen Z, they, they're editing, they're um, they're mm-hmm. they're creating stories within like sixty seconds, mm-hmm. and they are each other's biggest supporters. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I yeah. mean? And it drives me nuts because sometimes when us as actors and entertainers, we're on social media, and even our own friends and fam aren't checking in. Mm-hmm. But I've noticed right. with that younger generation, yeah. they are all like, "Yeah, good job!" And like everybody's actually pretty cool with each other. Yeah. And and yeah. like they will have not posted forever, but they put one post up and it gets like 500 likes mm-hmm. in an hour. Right. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah. I posted a couple of pictures of uh, the set, and I, I would tag a couple of people, and already like just likes. Right. Like, I'm like, who is this person? Who is this? Person? <laughs> They're all fans of you right. know the kids. So mm-hmm. um, especially this one dancer, Casey Rice. She has, gosh. Mill, I think millions. Of Wait, she's a dancer. She's a dancer. She is a dancer. Oh, wow. yes. I follow her. Oh wow. Yes. She does. She dances at the. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah. She puts her dance. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Her dance partner is Sean Liu, who's uh, has a huge following as well. Did they? Were they on um, America? One of I think rings? World of Dance. They, I think I, they were. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Oh, you're and working Sean with Sean Liu. Um, he has his own clothing line called the Loosers. Yeah. S E R S. But he's a choreographer too, right? Yeah. Sean. Yeah, yeah. No, I have followed them. They are very talented. Yeah. And his pieces his dance pieces are just they can jam yeah no he's got he he, he, speaking of storytelling just through choreography no i because i watched some of those clips with sean and casey yeah i i was just completely moved amazing and how old are they again to be able to tell these stories through dance like yeah no it's incredible i I got close to talking about it yeah well speaking of social media (laughs) oh no we have to start wrapping up i feel like we just got no let everybody know um give them all your socials michael sun lee at michael sun lee is that it? Yeah, it's, Instagram, just, at, Facebook. it's just at Michael Sunley. Everything's Twitter, the same. Instagram, Facebook. What else is there? Um, well, TikTok. Yeah. Do you have, not uh, on do you have Snapchat? Snapchat. Do, do not have Snapchat. Um, I haven't. I have Snapchat, but I haven't really gotten into it. I have Tinder and Bumble. That's oh, right. no. oh no! Did you get sucked into Facebook dating yet? They they have that. No. Now. They have that Facebook now. Facebook dating. Yeah, you can date. Oh my um, God. Not actually your friends, but th- your friends' friends. Like you, it says like they, Facebook suggests you could date within that. It's a hot oh. mess. Ha- anyway, yeah. okay. Well, we'll, I was just we will go into a hot mess of Facebook dating. Where's my phone? <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget, everybody, check out She's Too Fat. All six episodes now are out. All of Please them. Please make sure to share it with your friends. Start watch parties. We're gonna binge watch it too. Yes, we're gonna we're gonna do some binge watching, watch watch parties, and all that over and over again. And we're gonna repost them all over again. Yeah, you know. So look out for those. Everybody follow Michael too, because honestly, this whole year and a half, and again, this is the most I've talked to you. No, I mean this. I feel like she's always running around. I feel like I know this guy now. (laughs) Same to you, Mr. Bartender. So anyway, um, follow him though, because even not knowing each other like now. You have been one of the most supportive people for, that has been part of our casting crew, and we really appreciate. Love you guys. You Thanks. have shared, you have posted, you have tagged, Love you guys. You have, yeah, and we we it means the world to us because, as you understand, like in this day and age, that is necessary. So yeah, we appreciate. I you. am behind it. Yeah. And there's Good. another MSL involved, so. <laughs> That's right. Yes. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Oh. All right, everybody, check us out at Fat TV World Facebook, Twitter. Instagram, Not YouTube, Snapchat, <laughs> TikTok, and yeah. Fat TV World. I think I forgot to say that for last week, but yeah. we do have Fat TV World. We're and everywhere. if you go to She's Too Fat series, that you right now it's going to the Facebook where you can see some behind the scenes. So everybody, we will check you guys next week. And again, don't forget watch the She's Too Fat all six episodes out now. She's Too Fat. Bye. Bye. <laughs>